wherever you live. Rubbish just everywhere. Oh no, there's a play area. Oh no. An overgrown play area. I didn't go in there. What's the time? I've got enough time. Let's go and have a look quick. I wonder how we can get in there. Because, um, I think you can get in there through that club, but it's closed, so I have to try and find another entrance. Right. <laughs> Here we go. It's starting to rain again now. But overgrown kids' play areas are, well, they're just so intriguing because you think to yourself, all the kids that were playing in here at one point and now they're not, it's all just been left and abandoned, you know? It's all the, uh... Ah, oh, man. I bet that would've been well good. What else we got? got to keep my eye out on the floor because of, there's little paths everywhere so there must be uh well I'd imagine they get in the way I got in there's a swing there's a thing over there let's have a look around here quick we might better get on that football pitch your feet are soaking wet now though all this grass oh uh, Oh yeah. Look at that. That used to be a tennis court. Once upon a time. Let's go down here look. Oh man, look, this is the nuts. It's an old tennis court. Yeah, man. What's that there, look, an old shed? Oh, there's a padlock or something. This is cool, man. This is really cool. I'd have come down here and played tennis. This place is definitely shut down now. In fact, I think I do know that it was already shut because I seem to remember something about it being shut in the news or something. That's interesting. Let's go down here. Look. Webs everywhere. Yeah, if I'd have ever got the job in here as the groundsman, I'd have been having to maintain all of this. It's a bloody good job I didn't get the job because they're shut. God, the cobwebs. They're everywhere. Oh, chipping over a chipping over a bloody uh, bramble. Oh where this goes, look. Oh look, there's like toilets and stuff over there. Let's go down here. This is so cool, man. Little steps. Oh. oh, I've got to go over there. Yon. That's uh. Well, that one's been locked up again. That one's been properly locked up. That looks really cool. So very.
Oh, these must be the toilets. Oh man. It's a shame when people do that. That's the ladies' toilets. Kitties. Jacks. It's weird. Let's have a look around here. It is a shame when people smash stuff up. Because they could be used for other stuff, you know. It's a pond over there. Let's have a look over here. Look, look what I spotted. What this is all about. What this used to be. Bit of an all in there. An old shed, look. Some kind of metal container. An old tractor tyre. <laughs> The stuff it looks like mainly rubbish. Oh man, this shed's in definitely seen better. There's an old lorry tire there. Look, another shed, bin lid. What's over there? Oh man, oh, there's nothing, it just goes to nowhere. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely brilliant. Eh? Well, it's not brilliant, but it's cool. It's not brilliant that it's been destroyed, but it's cool, eh? Oh, I've got me a uh, got me a chocolate now. Uh, oh, that's that gate that we came to over there. That leads over here. This is well cool, man. It's a fishing pond over there, fishing lake. Oh yeah. Love it, man. This is such a cool place. This really is such a cool place. Blimey. A black and decker rake. It's perfectly good as well. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I'm not going to walk too far because the bloody grass will make my feet too wet. But that's the back of it over there, look. They must be keeping on top of the pitch because look, it's all been cut. The whole football pitch has all been cut all the way along. So they must be keeping on top of that at least and just not the rest of it. But obviously, I, I would imagine the pitch is a valuable part. I mean, I don't know what a football pitch is worth. But to get it up to scratch again is probably going to cost a lot of money. So they're probably just keeping on top of that. Pretty cool though. Wonder what's in there for that to be locked up again, like padlocks and all sorts. <laughs> oh, goalpost. Oh, I'm gonna have to go this way because there's brambles that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Well, at least this is a nice, um, a nice documentation of this place now. I didn't even realise it. I <laughs> didn't even realise it was going to be like this. I totally didn't expect to go on an exploration to this morning. So at least now, this is a documentation of what it was like and whatever's going to happen to it now. You know, we know what it's like, what it was like just after it closed. But uh, yeah, it's definitely very, very cool. Sadly, I never actually came in here when it was fully functionally and open. So I don't know what it was actually like, but you can see it had a lot of amenities, it had a lot of stuff. A random shed there. Oh, it's got some stuff written on it. Shall we have a look? 
Oh, I know it's got electrics and stuff in here. What does that say? In loving memory of Len Field, Secretary Tennis Section on the opening of the Floodlight Tennis Court at Heard Lane, 1982. Alright. Oh, nice. And we've just got bags of stuff and birds' nests in the corner. Tennis section, members only. Nice. Let's have a quick walk down here, because I think the only way to get out is through the way I came in, so I'm gonna have to go back. So let's have a little quick walk down here. Just, we'll get, oh, this will give us a closer look at that football pitch, actually. I'd love to tackle this. Oh yeah, look at this. This is definitely being cut. There's a bin turned over down in the middle of the field. Two bins actually. Some geese. But then that's freshly cut that is. So they're definitely maintaining it. Well, not maintaining it properly, but they're keeping it cut anyway. <laughs> nice. I love the old football just sitting there in the middle of the tennis court. <laughs> That's quality, that is. Well, the path comes up from them steps there and goes this way, but it's all overgrown. This is obviously how you got to the play area and back to the clubhouse, but it's all overgrown now. And go around here. Yeah, there's the path, it carries on. Look. There it is. What a lovely play area. That would have been brilliant. Parents are reminded to supervise the Jordan at all times. Let's have a little quick look over here and then we'll have to retreat. It's got exercise equipment in there and everything. It's a bloody gym in there. Hmm. Well, it's obviously not been uh, broken into and vandalised yet. Because if it had been, none of that would be like that. None of that would be like that at all. Excellent, man. Can we get out that way? No. Got to go back round here. Loads more rubbish. This is awesome, look. You can just see the outline of where it all used to be. I think this has actually been closed for a few years actually or well, judging by the state of everything but also I do remember hearing something about it closing so it's been closed for a few years brilliant just love abandoned kids play areas because you just think to yourself all the uh, history of the kids playing there and all the fun happy memories that were that had been had at one point 
Nice. Well, it's starting to rain now anyway, so that was a nice little random exploration. Catch you later on, you lot. All the best. Thanks for watching and enjoy yourselves. And if I'm not, I'd never ever break into anywhere, but if there's an open door, I can I'll go in there. So I'll come back periodically, and if there's ever an open door to that building, I'll go in and we'll explore the building. But I couldn't see any open doors, so I'm not going to go in there at the moment. But in the future, if there is an open door, I'll go in there and we'll explore the whole building. Catch you later.